Hey guys, welcome back to the Essex Rotary channel and today we're talking spark plugs. Hey guys, so I wanna make a couple of comparisons. Um, we've got, we normally do NGK plugs at the workshop um, or at Essex Rotary. We've had a customer bring some um, Denso Iridium racing plugs in, um, which is insistent we fit. Uh, the problem is the Denso Iridium racing plugs are actually colder being a racing plug than um, the equivalent Mazda ones, which you should be using for the road. So I thought it'd be an ideal opportunity while we've got them here to um, basically explain the difference and give you a, a direct comparison. Now, the heat ratings on plugs, some people know about it, some people don't. Um, your NGK plugs generally run as a heat rating and the, the rotaries from normally about a six or a seven all the way up to about a nine. Tens and elevens is normally racing heat. Normally the lower the number, the hotter the plug runs. So with the NGKs, in this case, we've got a pair of NGKs here. You can just see we've got one which is, one's a nine, which is the trailing and then we've got a seven, which is the leading. Now, these are the recommended Iridium hotter plugs, um, which are, were revised later on with the RX-8 and were also standard fit in the R3. With the Densos, again, you can see leading and trailing there, but they've got a bit of a weird number. The leadings and the trailing are 27 and 31. With different manufacturers of plugs, you can't directly compare one heat rating to the other, you need a chart. Now, I've got a bit of a cheat sheet which I've taken some notes off here, but essentially, you got leading and trailing, the leading is a hotter plug, the trailing is the colder one. However, these are sold as racing plugs. So, your racing plugs are generally gonna be a colder running plug than your regular street plugs, which means it increases the chances of the plugs fouling because they're not running as hot. Also, it can cause um, essentially starting problems from cold sometimes um, because they're just they're not firing up as um, or they're not operating as hot. The last thing is I want to show you essentially we've got the differences between the two plugs. So if we just pull out the trading plugs, so we've got this is the NGK plug. You can see the tip, okay, and then the Denso, which you can tell by the lines, and obviously it says Denso on there. You should be able to see the um, the heat rating. The trailing plugs are very similar in in design, okay. These, the thirty ones, are equivalent to a heat rating eleven. I believe. One second. The thirty one Denso is equivalent to a heat rating ten. Okay, whereas your stock heat rating with the NGKs is a nine. So these are running one heat rating lower um, on the trailing side. I suppose good for turbo engine, stuff like that, what you want a colder running plug, but not really good for street cars that are naturally aspirated. Just put them away. Onto the leading plugs. So just gonna pop these out of the box. So the protective covers off. So there's a big difference between the Denso in this case and the NGK. So the NGK, the leading plugs are quite distinctive on with NGK plugs. Okay, you can see they've got that like that cross pattern in the side there. Hopefully this should focus. This has got like a cross pattern in the side, or in the, the end, sorry. Now with the Denso, they are essentially the same style tip as the trailing plug. Now, Dents are a renowned manufacturer, so they should work, but Mazda obviously designed the plug like this for a reason, so it's worth bearing in mind. Also, in comparison, the recommended seven heat rating with the NGK, the 27 with the Denso, the 27 essentially, I'm just checking my notes here. The 27 essentially is like a heat rating nine. So you're running two heat ratings lower than what Mazda are recommending. I mean, even the colder plug 
um, which was earlier, which was fitted to the, the RX-8 in the early days, was still a heat rate in eight. So make of that what you will. I mean, I wouldn't normally recommend racing plugs for a street application. Um, that's about it, guys. I mean, I, it was just a quick video just to explain the differences because not everyone's aware. Would normally recommend NGK plugs, but if you are tempted to go with other manufacturer plugs, make sure they are rotary specific, which these are. Um, and also make sure you try and get the correct heat ratings for your application. Okay, um, with that said, I think that's it. We're gonna round up um, this episode, guys. Yes, if um, you like the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification wherever it's floating about on the screen, down there or down there, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that will notify, that will give you a heads up for when we put out new videos. Um, don't forget to like the channel, um, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down if you don't like it, if you don't like what we're saying. Um, tell us why, what didn't you like about the, about the episode. Uh, you, you find us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that. Also, check out our website at essexrotary.co.uk where you'll find NGK Iridium plugs and many other goodies for your rotary car. With that said, um, I'm going to sign off guys, have a great day, see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.